Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to unclog a slow draining bathroom sink. Here's what I'm talking about. When you have a slow drain, the water won't drain quickly. You know that there's a clog somewhere in the pipe or in the P-trap or maybe just up around here around your pop-up drain or maybe you have the kind where this part lifts. It could be around your drain plug. This here is about 45 seconds later. It's still draining. We're almost there. As you can see, there is a bit of soap here. Because I just washed my hands, but still, all that soap, hair, gets clogged down there in your drainer and your P trap and causes this sort of thing. This here is the sink next to it. We have two sinks in this vanity. I put a bit of water in here. I'll show you how this works. If I were to turn both taps on, full water flow, look how quick that drains. That's how your drain should flow. Now let's say you're in a hurry and you don't have time to get down underneath your sink and check the P-trap, take it apart and unclog it. So what you could do is slide this down in your pop drain, a tool like this. So what it has is, it's just a plastic strip with some barbed edges on it and it catches hair and soap and you can just stick it down in the drain and pull it back up until the water flow just drains really good. But I have time to fix this properly today and I have time to show you. So we're going to get underneath the sink. We're going to drop the P-trap and make sure everything is unclogged there. Okay guys, so this is the hardest part of the whole job. It's getting under here. It's insane. It's so tight. So I'm going to show you what we have to work with and what we're going to do. So this here is your P-trap. This thing here. The water drains here and goes out this way. So what can happen is you can get hair and soap and other sludge all caught up here in the P-trap. Or it could be anywhere along here or just on the edge over here. So you want to unclog that if you find anything in here. It doesn't take much. It can obstruct the drainage for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the nut here. Undo another nut here. What we're going to be using is a pair of channel lock pliers like this. And you can adjust it to wherever you like. And we also have a drain bucket in here for any water that comes out. So right here, there's a big nut. We have to undo it. It's plastic. So don't put a lot of pressure on it because you don't want to crack it or gouge it too much or at all. Okay, I had to get a bigger pair of pliers because this nut on here is so wide. So it looks like we got it loose. That one's loose. We should be able to use the smaller pliers on the top one. And you want to hold your pipes here just a bit, just to give it strength so you're not twisting and breaking things. And we'll just undo this all the way. There we go. Undo the bottom one here again. And slide it down. Now guys, I see a lot of stuff falling out of here and I can see why I was having a slow drain. I'll show it to you in a second. So here's the P-trap. So out of here came a big clog of hair and soap and I have to go downstairs. I'm going to drain all this out better, clean it out. But first I want to show you what fell out of here. You can see all that? That's hair and soap. All those particles were one big chunk and that's what was blocking my drainage. Okay, so what I did is I went outside with my P-trap and I took the garden hose, I sprayed it out. Now you don't have to be that extreme, but it's warm out, so I did it. And I used one of these brushes. You can grab one of these at a dollar store. I stuck it down in here, cleaned it out, and you wouldn't believe how nasty it was. The crap that was coming out. I put it in and then pulled it out and all this black crap and it's just soap, right? Moldy looking soap. So it all came out, a lot of it. This thing is perfectly clean. I sprayed it with the garden hose really good. It's just like new now. So now I'm gonna check the pipe that goes from the drain into here. I'll check it, see if it's clear. If it's not, I'll clear it. Just pull it out, whatever the clog is, and then we'll go put this back in place and we'll see if this drain it works a lot better. I'll also put a link to one of these tools for cleaning the drain, clean the hair out of the drain. This is great for any drain, especially in your shower, because a lot of hair goes down the shower drain. You pull, put this down in there and pull it out, you'll yank out all kinds of good stuff. Hair and soap and all kinds of stuff. Ugh. But I'll put a link down in the description below where you can find one of those. Okay, we're gonna check this pipe now. 
Yeah, there's a bit of black up in there. Mildewy soap. So this pipe is clear now. Now we can put our P-trap back on. Everything should work great. We'll, we'll test it first though. All right, now we're gonna put our P-trap back in place. Everything's unclogged and clean. Start the threads on the bottom one first. Get it in place. Bring the nut on the top down, thread it on. Simple as that. Slug everything up. Grab your pliers. Now, you don't want to overdo this. Just, just snug it up. Just a bit. There we go. Probably hand type it tight is good enough. But just to be sure, we'll just give it a little quarter turn there, snug it up. Now your P-trap is back in place. And we'll go up top and have a look and see if everything is draining good. So everything isn't draining good, so we're gonna try out this tool and see if there's any hair in here that we can unclog. It's a bit of soap. Yeah, there's a bit of hair in there. As you can see, this tool does a great job of cleaning the pipes. Also, we could undo this. This is a pop-up drain, so we could undo this. And take the cap off, and I could undo this further. But I'm just gonna use this tool here right now to unclog this properly, because as you can see, there's all kinds of hair in here. The drain was better, but not as good as it should be, as the other side. I'll clean this nastiness up and I'll bring you back. So as you can see, I unclogged all this hair out of here as well. This was a really bad job. I didn't realize it was so bad. It's the first time we've had to do this since we lived here. As you can see, that drain is working great now. So you may have the other kind of drain that uses this lever here to pull it up and down. You may have to go underneath and undo it so you can pull the drain out. This is a pop-up drain, so it works different. So you just push on that and it, and it plugs, push it again, and it unplugs. And sometimes it sticks, so you just turn it to the left a bit. But I'll show you how good this is working. There we go. It doesn't hold water at all. So there you go, that's how to unclog a slow draining bathroom sink. This was a bad job. I didn't realize it was this clogged. But again, if you don't have the time to do it right, you don't have the tools on you, if you have one of these, it'll work temporarily. But you're likely gonna need a pair of channel lock pliers like these. You know, they cost about 30, 40, 50 dollars, but it's still a lot cheaper than calling a plumber. And this is an easy job that you could do. Anybody could do this. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it, it helps me out. And we'll see you on the next video.